In today's Madden 21 gameplay, I'm going to be breaking down kind of my thoughts and my inside the mind on my 46 defense and my New England offense that I just released on my YouTube channel. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on Madden 21 tips and tricks that you can apply to your own game that are going to help you uh, improve and basically just win more games in Madden 21. We do four videos a day here on my YouTube channel. We do one at two o'clock every day, one at four o'clock every day, one at six o'clock every day, and one at uh, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern every single day. All those times are Eastern times. We also live stream every single day on my YouTube channel um, at, um, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you have not already subscribed, uh, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button uh, in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Another thing that I would recommend you do is to go ahead and click the, um, go ahead and join my Discord. You can do that by clicking the link in the description. Um, once the video is over, you can uh, click that link and it's gonna take you right to my Discord and show you how to set that up. Basically what Discord is, if you don't know, um, Discord is basically an app that you can get on your smartphone or on your tablet, and um, and it just it just basically teaches or um, it allows you to kind of be a part of my community basically, and we go through and um, talk Madden twenty four seven and allows you to meet different people, so that way it's not just my perspective, but you get multiple perspectives. We got a lot of really really good uh, members in that Discord, so I'd highly encourage you if you haven't already joined it uh, to go ahead and click that link in the description. Now, what am I doing today? I am showing you guys uh, kind of my 4-6 defense uh, that I've been running a lot. It features a lot of nickel 3-3-5, uh, nickel 3-3-5 wide, and nickel normal. I think nickel 3-3-5 is the best base defense in the game, and the nickel 3-3-5 wide is probably the best. Um, you know, once you kind of know what they're going to do, uh, you can really box people uh, in this nickel 3-3-5 wide set. Um, now he's running New England as well, uh, so you'll get to see kind of the power of the playbook on both sides. Uh, and if you don't know, I actually just released my New England Patriots uh, ebook uh, today. It just came out, and so if you want to pick up the guide in the description, um, it's available for you now. Um, that guide features over 300 pages of material. It is a monster of a ebook. It goes through every single thing that you possibly need to know. Uh, about the New England Patriots playbook, we have over thirty um, over thirty five formations completely broken down. Um, we also share with you um, how to get a one play touchdown pretty much against any coverage that you're going to face um, in Madden twenty one. We show you how to do pretty much everything that you need to know um, to be effective in this game. So I'd highly encourage you if you have not already picked it up to go ahead and pick it up in the description. And what I'm doing today is basically just kind of talking through the gameplay. So um, we're gonna jump right into that. Now, um, this guy's running New England as well. And so he's running uh, some good five wide um, concepts and things like that that he's doing here. Uh, looks like he's gonna run four verticals. Now he's interesting. He's kind of coming out in a different set every play, um, which I haven't seen a whole lot of this. Um, I know from tight slots, I kind of know what What's good from tight slots? Tight slots is kind of a hidden gem, I think, in the New England book. Um, what you'll see here, and I'm just going to click off. When you see people start running with your quarterback, if you just click off of your player, um, he'll kind of act as a spy or whatever because you got him on a blitz. Um, so that's going to be really, really good for you uh, to be able to do that. Now, I got him in a third down here. Uh, I actually, on my defense, I like to run three defensive abilities, uh, basically. So I'm trying to you know, really kind of get that good pressure on that third down. I got defensive rally. I'm kind of testing that out. And so far, it's worked really well. Uh, I get a lot of pressure on third and fourth down, uh, which if you know, you know, obviously in defense, those are the most critical downs to be able to stop. And so, you know, nickel three through five, and here's the deal. A lot of people, you know, would say there's not a ton of pressure from nickel 55, and there is pressure that you can get from nickel 55. Don't get me wrong. But we, in our ebook, we go over uh, two man, three man, four man, five man, six man, and seven man pressure schemes that are going to be able to get in against blocked running backs or whatever. Um, and you can pick that up in the description as well. But, but the deal with that, that ebook is, um, or the defense, the three through five, is, is even though that you can, even though it's true that, you know, um, you can kind there's there's some holes in that um, that people misunderstand that what nickel 335 really does at least for me is it gives me the best personnel possible um, to be able to 
um, kind of combat a lot of what defenses are going to or offenses are going to want to do against me, which is to either audible down or whatever. So you can that's what I feel like is is truly a, a very valuable uh, piece of that nickel three three five. Now, um, what I love about the Patriots book is the Patriots book is balanced. Um, you know, you're going to be able to do kind of a little bit of everything with this ebook. Um, you're going to be able to obviously pass the ball. Um, you know, passing the ball is, is absolutely critical, uh, at least in the way I play offense and I love to pass. So, um, of course, you're going to be able to pass the ball from this guide. Uh, what I like to do kind of first is I just kind of try to feel him out, um, see how he's going to handle this inside zone. Um, is really one of the things that I'm kind of trying to watch right there. I feel like you got kind of a lucky block shed, uh, which is fine. Uh, but you have gun bunch. And although this bunch, you know, some people would say this isn't the best bunch in the world. I believe this gun bunch is actually a lot better than people realize. Um, and uh, I, I personally believe that it's, it's actually really, really good. And we show you how to make it uh, better than a lot of people realize um, in, in our, in our ebook. So you can, you can check that out as well, but but the ebook is like I said, it's it's really simple. So um, you know, even though we break down a lot of formations, we we really try to make it simple and kind of keep with that same strategy of having a power play, having a counter play, you know, and kind of working off of that. So um, the the one ability that I would say that you need to run this with is you you kind of need a tight end apprentice, um, and you don't have to have that, but it does make it a lot better in my opinion. Um, now, just like with any offense, um, you know, obviously, if you're not if if you don't read the play right, um, there's nothing that anybody can do for you. But um, what we're going to teach you in this ebook is actually how to read the defense and what do you do against this or that, and and kind of how that works. So um, that's also something that you are going to be able to get with this. Um, so right here, this situation, we got a third and two. I'm going to try to get this motion off and see he's been leaving this little motion slant over here um now this motion slant i'll tell you one thing about these motion slants um motion slants are really really effective as long as you know how to read them and as long as you know how to hit them um now we're just kind of trying to feel him out a little bit and just see what he's calling um running kind of a uh, nickel normal defense here we're gonna do a little stop and go in the backfield just try to give our blockers a little bit more time to block for us um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this um, little pats um, this little formation right here uh, and the primary reason I'm gonna go to this is just because I want to uh, kind of have you know just kind of a simple keep things simple here he's showing cover two on this right side so we'll see what he does he ends up going to man coverage, so we'll just take our route to digs right over the middle of the field. And uh, so far, the offense is cooking really nicely. Um, right here, I'm going to go to Pat's sale. I love this play. It's one of my favorite plays in the ebook. And we show you, I think we have over, our gun bunch uh, is like an hour and a half video breakdown. So it's going to show you everything you need to know from gun bunch, how to use it to its most effective um, methods. We've studied you know, some of the best bunch players um, in Madden history. And uh, I've studied bunch for a long time, and you know there's a lot you can do with bunch, but you just got to keep it simple. Now, one of my favorite things to do on this is to use this setup right here. This is just a simple, um, you know, just simple setup. If they're playing like, you know, just kind of standard uh, defense, you can easily hit this. Um, this is nothing exotic about it. Um, it's one of the most basic route combinations in this guide, but it's probably my favorite. Um, and the reason why is it just it, it really leverages, and I, there I made a bad cut with my back, but it really does leverage the power of the alignment of the trips tied in. Um, and so if they're, you know, um, oh, dang it, I got sacked. I had him wide open too. That's okay. Um, so right here we got third and goal. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to, go to Pat's sale and just see, you know, if I can hit something. Um, again, I'm okay with taking three because obviously we held him to three, um, and that's not a big deal. Um, and I throw a pick, and I kind of forced it. That's okay. I kind of forced it right to a really good user, Pat Watkins. Um, that was just a bad decision by me, and that's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes with this, you know, obviously it's a really good offense. We're able to walk the ball up and down the field. But if we don't make the right read, and, and I probably should have got out of that. I probably should have checked down to some other stuff uh, in the red zone with this, which is fine. Um, but we just got to play defense. Um, 
and and I think I get bald half. See, that's where it's a bad, you know, bad decision by me to throw that. I kind of forced it. I thought my, I thought like the, the guy, and I think if I was a little bit, um, if I might have been at like the fifteen, I think I would have been a little bit better on that because what would have happened um, is, and I don't know how I don't get that interception, um, but what have what would have happened was, um, he would have kept running if you've noticed he actually ended up stopping in the back of the end zone there and that's that's where i just got you know just kind of missed it honestly uh, i'm gonna go to a little screen here so uh really what we're trying to do right now is we're just trying to keep him in front of us now he's going to gun bunch this is the first time he's called gun bunch all game um so what i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna drop these back to 20 yards and we're gonna go to cover two And, and I don't know how we don't get the pick right there. That's okay. So he still has that one timeout. Uh, we got him in a third and 12. And that's why I like that three through five. I mean, you'll notice. Uh, now, right here, this is just going to be straight cover four. And I'm just trying to keep him in front of us. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. Um, just don't want anything, uh, you know, just don't want anything over the middle here. He's probably going to go right at the seam. He does. We're able to get the pick. Now, we can get in field goal range and kind of redeem ourselves a little bit. We're going to do a stop and go, let our blocker set up. I cannot believe that just happened. That's insane. I don't know what just happened on that. I don't know if that was on me or if that was just on my guy just completely missing the block. Um, but we got to get ourselves in field goal range. Now, we need about um, – we just need 10 yards uh, for field goal range. We have two timeouts. So, realistically, you know, you have a couple, we have a couple plays – uh, we're going to see if he blows a coverage. I don't anticipate him blowing a coverage, but we'll just see. So we're going to kind of take it simple here and kind of see what the defense gives us. And he is going to give us that slant to, to Stephon Diggs. And Stephon Diggs is going to make a big play. And we're going to redeem ourselves um, from that interception and go ahead and get down and uh, take our field goal. Go in 3-3 three to three with ball coming out at halftime. So right there, you know, just simple, um, and that's the offense, honestly. You know, it just puts a lot of strain on your user because the crossers go in two completely different directions, and they beat every coverage in the game. And so it's just difficult. Um, you know, realistically, I actually like the slant sometimes a little bit better than the crossing route. Um, and you can run crossers as well. We have setups with that, with dual. But um, but all in all, I, I just like to keep it with that slant. I think that slant does a, such a good job. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right there. Let's get down. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now, uh, I think we showed you. Uh, so with split close pass, what you can do, we're going to use this uh, tight end at fullback package to be able to audible to a slot offset just to kind of give him another look here and kind of see um, see how he handles this run. I don't know if he knows how to stop it, a one trap, and he may you know blow this up, but we're just going to see. And he ends up, Darwin James ends up making a huge play for him, uh, which is fine. All right, so we're going to go back to trips and just keep it. You know, when I say keep it in front of us, I mean just keep keep the keep the down and distance, right? He hasn't really been able to stop um, this route to to this this route right here yet. So we're just going to kind of try to keep rolling with that. Um, and he leaves the flats open, and that's that's what I'm saying. You know, the flats in this year's game are so effective. Um, and uh, what we're going to do here, it's open by alignment. Now, you see here, when, when they move this right here, this look right here, this is the beauty of Trips tight end. So now what he's going to have to do is he's really going to have to over um, overcommit to stopping Reggie Bush. And he even did it right there, and he's still not able to get out there. That's where I'm saying that alignment that this thing gives you issues with. Um, I, that's one of the main things that I love about this offense. Um, okay, so now what are we going to do here? Um, let's just run, let's just run this little, little, uh, U trips here. Just keep it simple. And he looks like he used running man. I don't know. I hit the wrong button. I totally, I totally hit the wrong button. I was trying to hit the tight end and I, I accidentally hit the, uh, accidentally hit. I'm going to run that same play. I, I like that play though for what he's trying to do. Um, so this is just underneath crossers. If he goes to that match coverage again, we're going to be able to get him. 
there. So you had that tight ends wide open. That's what I was trying to hit on that last play. But that, that tight end route is so nice. Uh, you'll hit a lot of that. Um, now, again, based on the way uh, – here he goes again with that alignment issue. So we're going to go right back to our little play. Um, and he's going to take his user completely out of the middle of the field. So we'll just run with our QB. And we probably still had the running back route. But now notice when he – man, he's kind of giving you a little bit of a tell because he's – with his adjustments. So here we're going to go to just this simple – another simple play. And if the middle field is open – um, and I think he just dropped back coverage and we ended up having really good protection and was able to be able to get the ball out here. So right here, this is where we can't mess up um, again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run – got that curl, low ball. And that should have been a touchdown. Dang it. All right, we're going to go back into split close here. I really like this play in the red zone. There it is. Touchdown. Beautiful. So uh, the split close, I like it because you you just compress everything in there nice and tight. And uh, so far, I feel like you know we we probably should have gone down to that split close. That's set that split close sets kind of a little bit more of our red zone. What we're trying to accomplish in the red zone. Obviously, we have five. We actually have in our ebook. We talk about the five wide a lot too. Um, I think we have over two hours of breakdowns on the five wide uh, in it. But we basically understand you know okay. That split close from five wide from split close to five wide is a big difference, um, just because of the stretches that you can put on the defense. And so when you're able to go from split close to five wide to single back ace um, is really really powerful. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could go you could change your personnel grouping and you could go to you know obviously like a you know an eye tight or something if you wanted to. Um, just choosing the right personnel for you. Um, right here, he's going to go to that power O again. Good call by him. I was in a bad defense for that. Um, but really, you know, our kind of job right now is just keep it in front of us. I feel like the offense is not going to get stopped. Um, he's going trips tight ends, going to curl flat. He had the curl wide open, threw it into triple coverage. Somehow nobody touched it on my team. I feel like my... Uh, my cover four is like right there as long as the, those guys jump. So I'm th I've thought about putting um, Acrobat back on them. I think Acrobat would help this 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 style of defense that I'm playing. Just on the back end, guys, just making sure that they jump. That's kind of the, the thing that I want to make sure happens. There we go. And I don't know why I have ball in their defense to play ball, and unfortunately he swatted it. So you see here, he's going to go to empty ace Patriot, um, you know, which is a good play call by him um, just because of the personnel groupings that you get from this. And we'll see, we got stick and nod here and he's able to get a good completion over the middle. So third and four, it's kind of cool that just randomly we're end up running the same playbooks and you're seeing how effective this offense can really be. try to use or strip it i wasn't able to do that so you see he's just putting a good putting a good drive together here uh we're gonna kind of shift on him a little bit um and play a little cover one and that was a good read that was a good read by him we're actually gonna stick with that though i, I feel like that can be And let's get that pick. Come on, he throws it four speed of that corner route right into a right into double coverage once again. All right, so we're, he's an empty ace patriot again. We're just looking, and we tried to catch him there. He actually, man, he's thrown some. Ah, she's thrown some weird passes so far. He's gonna go in a single back wing tight. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our little um, 
Yeah, he's going to run right through us. Okay. So good drive by him. Yeah, I felt like there was a couple times. You can't be mad at that. You got to be okay because you got two minutes and 16 to go down and let your offense win the game for you. Um, but, you know, you got to feel like on defense, I felt okay. I felt like, you know, there was a couple of times where we had him. Um, so I'm not too mad at the defense. I would have liked to put a little bit more of a fight up um, in the in, in the red zone there. I was surprised he was able to just walk through me uh, with that run. Normally, big nickel over G is a little bit more tough, um, but but that's fine. Uh, so what we got to do is be effective on our side of the ball, and we got to control what we control control here, um, you know, and just keep things. Again, we got three timeouts. Like this is what you want, man. I mean, you, you got, feel like this offense is probably one of the best offenses in the game, um, if not the best offense in the game. I think it's very up there for the best offense in the game, but. We'll see what happens here. Uh, just taking what the defense gives us here. He's going to give us that crossing route. We're going to take it and uh, get a pretty good play. And now we just need, you know, again, game management, understanding the clock, understanding the time, understanding all that stuff. We just, you know, really don't want to give the ball back to him. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of keep it, again, keep the keep the game in front of you uh, is really what I'm what I'm getting at here. But you'll see, I really like this route combo right here from U Trips. I don't know why it's not letting me snap the ball. So there's man coverage. If he's not going to cover my tight end, I'm just going to take the tight end and just again, just get upfield, stay in bounce, force the you know work the clock a little bit. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go down a single back. Uh, this ace close formation is really good. Uh, get the and just. You know, now this now we're in completely. Let's just close the game out, and this is where I feel like, um, you know, this guy is really, really, really good at um, is closing the game. We'll split close action here, and there, um, and that's where it's like smart. Okay, let's you know, let's just get down. Let's just take a sack. Um, I was I, I didn't see anything I really liked from that. Um, so I'm okay just going down, uh, taking a sack. Now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to try to just kind of inch forward a little bit using that little passing concept uh, we have from this formation here. Um, and he's going to give us the running back. And we're going to mess around and end up losing yardage. So he's very smart. He takes a timeout there. We're actually going to have to go down and try to convert this. Uh, this is a key down. Um Unfortunately, we probably called the wrong play on that second on that second down, um, and he's handing us the inside zone. You've got to take the inside zone here, man. I mean, you feel like you have to, and we're able to get up, and that's where, you know, that's where this this offense is. You know, you you can really easily just move forward uh, with that inside zone. So now we're just going to be able to clock him out, kick a field goal. Uh, and win the game. So we're going to go down, split close, and then go into this a one trap, a slot type stuff, you know, and just basically close this game out. Uh, this is what this offense. I mean, it's just complete. You know, it's not. It's, you know, right here. You know, we didn't blow the doors off necessarily with our offense, but we just completed the game. Um, and, and and like you said here, we're just trying to kind of tailor this. You know, tailor this line this kick up really really well. And then we're going to come out and uh, get our timeout. And he's probably going to come out and ice us, which is fine. Um, which is which is fine. Um, we have a focus kicker. We have Janikowski, um, best kicker, I think, in the game right now. And uh, we're going to go with our field goal. And um, hopefully we don't get uh, – but you see here, I mean, it should be an automatic, right? Right down the middle. We're right in the middle of the field. And we might be a little bit to the left, but you see here we're going to be able to finish this game. So um, that's the offense. Um, right there wasn't flashy, but you saw the consistency. The one pick in the end zone was really my fault um, because I didn't um, – the route didn't get where I wanted to go. I probably shouldn't have even been in that formation, honestly. Uh, should have been in something else. But uh, kind of force-fed that a little bit. Um, and that's one thing. You know, it, you know, with any offense, if you force stuff – you know, that's that's where you're going to run into issues. So we did force it. Bad decision on our part. We ended up, uh, you know, end up being a little bit tougher of a match than we were able to thought. But um, what I like about this offense, it gives you answers. Um, when you need to move the ball, you'll be able to move the ball. Guarantee you that. Um, 
so it's on sale right now you can pick it up uh, the link is in the description of this video uh, if you're a part of my text message membership which is completely free to join um, if you have are a part of my text message membership you will be receiving a video uh, today that is a sample formation where we go through and break down um, the entire uh, a slot offset and walk you through exactly how to use that formation um, to be able to really uh, just to be able to move the ball well, uh, just to be able to get, get the ball down the field well. Uh, and that video is over an hour long. So, um, and you can get that. All you got to do is text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description of this video and in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But just shoot me a text message uh, and I'll shoot you that sample video as well. Um, also, if you, if you just have Madden questions, you can also text me as well, but, um, uh, thank you guys so much for your support. We will be live tonight, um, streaming with this playbook, um, on YouTube, uh, we'll be live on our YouTube channel. If you're in the discord, you'll get a notification whenever we go live, or if you've turned on your net notifications for YouTube, um, you'll get a notification, uh, whenever we go live, but, uh, we should be live at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we'll see you on our stream.